guys, my name is Tim Allen and today we're creating one of the most iconic Toy Story characters ever. That's right, Woody the Space Cowboy. Wow, doesn't Woody look so nice? Woody is a cow Woody is a cowboy from the space and he's wow. So <laughs> we're making Buzz Lightyear. Let's get started. And this video is brought to you in part by Sad Nice. They sent me some of the Dreamline fondant for free. You know how much quality fondant is? It's expansive. I'm starting this cake out with a Funfetti cake and I just placed my template on top and cut out the buzz shape. Notice that I put on the template upside down. That is okay. That is fine with me. I can live with it. I was actually feeling very chocolate cakey today, but because I've been using Funfetti cake for most of my cakes, I didn't really have a choice but to eat Funfetti cake. Isn't my life like so hard? I had to eat Funfetti cake instead of chocolate cake. Wow. The struggle. So I just layered two of my cakes on top and started to round out the sides. This isn't a flat cake, but I still wanted to make sure that I created some indentations for his eyes. I made sure that his chin was very protruding. He's got a very defined chin. It's almost like as prominent as Jay Leno's, except Jay Leno has the, what is it? The like clef. I also made a little indentation for his mouth. And this was a wrong move because he has teeth. And so I actually had to cover that up later with fondant. Now I gave my entire cake a crumb coat and I really do like the way that crumb coats look on Funfetti cake. Now after the crumb coat, I placed my cake into the fridge. While my cake was in the fridge, I was Netflix and chilling and I was watching this movie called Matilda. Have you seen it? It's really good. I watched it when I was little and it was like the first superhero movie because she can move things with her mind and she's doing dances and she's making that dance sequence it's everything matilda was a reason that i fell in love with chocolate cake because they have that one scene where that uh, the very pudgy kid has to eat the whole chocolate cake in front of all of his classmates why they made him do it it sucks the trunch bowl made him do it and he was so full but also, I was so jealous. One of the best things about Matilda is that the villain in the movie is dangerous and terrifying. Even to this day, I still think the Trunchbull is one of the most magnificently... God. Scared Straight? Have you ever seen that show, Scared Straight? Scared Straight has nothing on Matilda's principle. <laughs> After I took my cake out of the fridge, I added some fondant into his mouth so that I could get his smile. I'm adding another piece of white fondant for his teeth. I wanted to make sure that I protected this piece of fondant, so I'm adding a small piece of parchment paper to cover them. I'm scared I was gonna lose the shape if I did this with cake, so I'm using fondant to create his nose. Just putting it in place and then covering my entire cake with some Buzz Lightyear skin tone fondant. Now this shape was extremely hard to create be because it's so smooth. Because everything is so smooth, you don't want to handle the fondant too much because you'll add texture. I've done it before and I've had to start over like several times. Not this time though. I learned this on Instagram, you guys. So when I cut out the shape for Buzz Lightyear's mouth, because I covered his teeth fondant with parchment paper, it protected the white. The fondant on top didn't stick to it, and we got this beautiful grin, like that. See? Keep this in mind, if ever you're doing any character with teeth, you can do this, and it'll look bomb. If you want to see more of my Toy Story content, I got a lot of stuff for you guys. I got the Slinky Dog in cupcake form. I got a Bo Peep doll cake. And I also have Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. I had so many more ideas, but we gotta move on to the Lion King. Cause it's coming fast and I'm not even finished with my Pride Rock cake. I'm sweating. And my light is very directional, so I made sure that I got the depth of his lips as well as his eyes just right so that when the light hit it, it looked like a 3D representation of Buzz Lightyear, even though it was a lie. There aren't very many details for this cake, 
just his eyebrows and those two big eyes. I'm still happy I got that nose and that smile. I think those, it's looking good. It's looking real good. I'm adding two white pieces to create Buzz Lightyear's eyes and just some eyelids at the top. I'm really torn about who my favorite Toy Story character is. So I narrowed it down to Buzz Lightyear and Woody because of course, right? The quality of the voice acting from both Tim Allen and Tom Hanks is bomb. And when I think about Buzz and I hear Tim Allen's voice, I don't think about the guy who stars in Tool Time. I think about Buzz Lightyear. Whenever I heard Chris Pratt's voice in the Lego movie, I just thought, that's Star-Lord. <laughs> but whenever I hear Tim Allen's voice in Toy Story, I just think that that's Buzz Lightyear. Probably because I've been to Disneyland so many times and my favorite game at Disneyland is the Buzz Lightyear shooter game. He's played this character so many times that it's just ingrained to me that this is what Buzz Lightyear sounds like. Now if Tim Allen were to go on and to do another animated movie, I don't know if I'd be on board for that. Now my Dreamline fondant, this is where it came in handy because I created purple from the red and the blue and that's what I used to create some of Buzz Lightyear's characteristics. He's wearing this sort of, I don't even know what this is. Is this like a yarmulke sort of a deal? Is He's not Jewish. What is this, like a space cap? I don't know. Space, it's like what the astronauts wear. It keeps his hair pretty. And I wanted his eyes to pop, so I'm actually painting them with some turquoise and white food coloring. Giving him some catch lights and some pupils. And then I added just a little bit of diluted red food coloring to give his cheeks a little rosy. Now we add a little bit of that chin detail and voila, my Buzz Lightyear cake was complete. Simple, huh? That's pretty simple compared to what I usually do. I was going to use some luster dust to highlight features of his face, but I like the simplicity so much and I love the way that this cake catches the light that I decided against it. He looks so happy. And those teeth, pearly whites, all because of that piece of parchment paper. Now I'm curious, who is your favorite Toy Story character? Buzz Lightyear? Woody? You got Jesse? Mufasa, Baloo, which one? I don't know, you tell me. Now I'm gonna assume that you're watching this on September 5th and Toy Story has been out for months. So what did you think? Did you like it? I loved it, it was great. Best movie of 2019. I've seen it four times already, can you believe it? I know. I bought out a whole theater just for myself, all four times, can you believe it? What did you think? I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you. I will see you very soon. Peace.